Michelle Palham, Fly Ministry. Good morning. I have a simple question for the Board of Finance. The proposed budget put before us for consideration is approximately $1.3 million over the current budget. What does that represent, that increase, primarily? One mil. <clears throat> what is that money paying for? Education in town functions in our debt service. Okay, it's about five million in debt service, right? Yes. Five five million of the budget is in debt service. Yes. But the one point three million dollar increase, what does that represent? So primarily contractual obligations? I would say eighty percent of it represents uh, contractual obligations, including uh, fuel costs, electrical costs, not just employee costs. But, uh, okay, primarily though it is employee related costs, it's labor costs. Yes. So people need to understand when you're looking at this budget and you're deciding how to go at the end of the month, that increase is not really advancing the town and giving us more services, improving education with more funding dollars. It's really paying for increased benefit levels for all the employees. And it's not saying that those benefits aren't deserved, but they're way out of line with the private sector. Okay, bankable sick time, 14, 15 holidays, non-performance-based bonuses you get whether you do your job or you don't, comp time, 35-hour work weeks, uh, Insurance, medical insurance, $10 co-pays, those labor costs are unacceptable in the private sector. They have been for many years now. As the economy has tanked, companies have had to rein in their spending, and the key expenditure for any business organization is their labor costs. I've not heard from our first selectmen what's been done to rein in labor costs on the town side, I've heard every year that we have a budget uh, hearing, the Board of Ed presenting a plan to help mitigate, minimize the labor costs and, and increase employee contributions and cost sharing. I'm not seeing that on the town side, and it makes me angry. It really does. When I look at the benefit levels in those contracts, it really is unfair to ask the taxpayers to fund a one mil increase when many of the people that live in this town can barely afford to put food on their table, diapers on their babies, and provide just the basic necessities for living. And that's not just senior citizens. There are many people out here in my age group who are on fixed incomes as well. So again, it's not the Board of Finance who are given very limited uh, information to work with and there's really not much you can do to affect the labor costs. But I am very disappointed in our first selectmen and I just wanted to convey that increase that you're being asked to vote on at the end of the month is for benefits for about 500 employees. 100, about 120 on the town side, maybe 400 on the Board of Ed side. I know not all the Board of Ed employees <coughs> live in the town of Seymour. I don't know what the ratio is for the town side, but just keep that in mind when you decide how to vote at the end of the month, because we're not seeing an increase in town services for that money. We're really not. Thank you. Thank you.